uh, Belvoir Church. This is Henry, Pastor Henry, coming at you with a little informational video for our youth ministry. Uh, this year has been really tough. It's been really hard on all churches and a lot of other things. You know, we, we know a lot of other uh, planned, normal planned things throughout the year just really kind of came to a screeching halt in March. And uh, just like any other ministry, we've been, you know, sort of, you know, really just disappointed that our Bible school had to be canceled and a few other things had to be canceled and all for the safety uh, of our people and I do not take that responsibility lightly um, but you know as I said Sunday to the church uh, I think it's time for us to kind of resume to some sort of normalcy so I thought I'd share this video just to kind of share you what my plan is um, going forward with our youth ministries uh, we are still trying to work out some things with our Sunday school ministry that announcement will come a little later. Uh, but as I said Sunday morning in our church service, my plan is for us to open up full uh, coming in October. So we're going to actually start the last week of September with our revival with Brother Tim Rabin, who's going to be here uh, Sunday night to Wednesday night preaching. It's going to be great. He's a phenomenal preacher. A lot of our teenagers remember Brother Tim from the Mid-Atlantic Youth Conference. He's there every year. And uh, so he'll be preaching to us all uh, for revival the last week of September. Uh, do, I will give you, again, a flyer. We're going to get some flyers made and all kinds of stuff uh, so that everybody can know um, about that revival. want to begin inviting folks to revival. Of course, we will be exercising social distancing there. Uh, but back to our kids' ministry in October, we hope and plan and prayer. And again, this thing changes day by day, but our plan is to open up the nursery in October, uh, but then also, or yes, October, I'm right, October, and then uh, we're going to open up Junior Church in October, so we're going to do Junior Church in the Fellowship Hall, uh, that's a bigger area, so they'll be able to socially distance the young people in there, uh, Brother Matthew is going to be taking that ministry, uh, I do want to say, I've got two separate messages, the first message here is for the Junior Ministry, uh, if your kids are in the junior ministry, uh, we are going to uh, actually have new leaders in that ministry. And that's going to be Matthew Kraft and, of course, Elizabeth Whitfield. And uh, they're going to be working with our junior ministry. They actually were going to go to camp with them this year, but, of course, COVID canceled that out. Uh, but they are going to take up the ministry of the junior ministry, planning activities, uh, teaching junior church, and all kinds of things like that. So uh, we are excited about them stepping up and wanting to do that with our young people. Our young people, our juniors already love them to death, and so uh, we're excited about them working with our junior ministry. And I'll be meeting with them in a couple weeks, and we'll be planning some activities. Now, I know some of you may be still kind of afraid. I want you to know we will be exercising social distancing at any event that we do uh, but we do feel like it's important for our kids to get back to some type of normalcy in a safe manner, safe way. What I'd like for you to do is give me some feedback. Tell me how you're feeling about that. Uh, again, you know, obviously, we're, I feel like we really need to go forward. If you don't feel that it's safe for your child, we would not ask you to put your child in any kind of situation. But uh, we're going to produce a calendar for you to look at and give you a detailed ex explanation of each event. Uh, but again, Brother Matt and myself, we're going to be getting together, and I'm going to be helping him plan a calendar for the juniors starting in October and forward, uh, you know, un unless uh, something changes. But, you know, I, I don't foresee that happening. We want to go ahead and get things in place uh, for the junior ministry. So that is for the junior ministry. Brother Matt and Sister Elizabeth, they're going to be working with the junior ministry from here on out. Uh, but we do thank God for them. Again, we'll be having a, producing a calendar for you all in October for events on ahead. Uh, secondly is our teenagers. Now, a lot of you noticed if you were here Sunday, we had a student from Southeastern, Bruce Leibengood. We do appreciate Brother Vance and, and Renee. Uh, they have just, um, of course, he's not been able to devote as much time as he would have liked uh, to the ministry. And so he's uh, going to be kind of stepping down in a role of just helping and assisting uh, from time to time if it's needed and we do appreciate their service and we're glad and of course thankful they're still here with us just again I uh, had to do some backing up there uh, but 
Uh, anyway, um, as far as uh, Bruce Leibengood, he was with us in church Sunday. Uh, he's a sophomore at Southeastern Free Baptist College. Uh, he is going to step in and help us until we find a more permanent solution. Again, uh, we're excited to have him. Uh, he's from Chocowinity, North Carolina. He's, a, he's got a good heart on him. He's a very humble servant of God. And we're so thankful for him to be able to work with our teenagers in this intermission time. Uh, with that being said, uh, he wants to do Zoom meetings with the teens until October, till we can meet back here in person. Uh, and so we'll, we'll still work out something. If you don't feel like your teenager is safe, uh, the way we to work out something where he can video those live uh, so everybody can have those. Again, we're going to look into doing that if we can. Uh, but other than that, and when October hits, the teenagers are going to be meeting again here in the church with Bruce Leibengood. But until then, uh, he's going to be getting up with you about getting contact information about doing Zoom meetings on Wednesday night so our young people can have some sort of church on Wednesday night through conference called Zoom. Uh, if you don't know what that is, we can help you out with that. But that's for our teenager mi uh, ministry. We will also be planning a calendar for them starting in October as well. Um, we plan to have a meet and greet, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, uh, Lord willing, um, a little bonfire, bring him out and let everybody meet him and greet him. Uh, again, I'll let you know about that as that date approaches, but just wanted to share a little informational video on what's going on with our youth ministry. Uh, what's right now, again, it's been a big burden on my heart. I just feel like we need to, we need to get back in there. It's not good for our young people not to be together. And we want to encourage that in these days. But do it in a safe manner. Uh, we certainly want to do that. And so just want to give you that information. Again, for our junior ministry, Brother Matt, Sister Elizabeth will be your go-to contacts for the ministry there in the junior realm. But in the teen realm, uh, Bruce Leibengood and myself, I'll be supervising him. Uh, but we're so excited to have him come this year and be with us. And then hopefully through the summer as well as an intern uh, but we're excited about having him and uh, just really glad to have him on board with us to help us in this time of, of just uh, intermission, I guess, you way, I guess you would say. But anyway, thank you very much for listening and tuning in. just want to give you a little informative video of what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish. More will come about Sunday school and other things in the days ahead. But we love you all, and we look forward to seeing you when, when we get to a new normal, right? Uh, God bless you all, and your pastor loves you. Bye-bye.